it's been approximately 16 days since i last shot a video and i know it's been a long while i'm trying to keep it up but i'm trying to balance working youtube on my last video i talked about starlink and how it compared to safaricom 5g but today i want to compare two similar devices so you guys already know of this router this is the original safaricom router that i got which i felt was best for my needs now safaricom recently introduced a new router for the 5g packages or the 5g internet service i wanted to compare this router with the all new safaricom 5g router as you can see it comes in a very sleek safaricom box of course it's branded safaricom 5g and it looks somewhat like a small tower so yeah this is the safaricom 5g router and i want us to unbox it and then do a small comparison between this and my older 5g router now Every time you purchase a 5G, a Safaricom 5G router like this one, it comes pre-installed with a Safaricom SIM card, like Safaricom line, so that they can they can register it to your to your to your ID and so that you can get the service. I got a new SIM card for this, which comes pre-installed in the box, but I haven't yet paid for this. So I'm just going to use my one SIM card, which I'm already using on my other Safaricom router and see whether it will work on this. If it doesn't, then I'll pay for this so that I can do the comparison. As you guys already know, I have paid for a 50 Mbps speed package here, a 5G 50 Mbps package. Now, this router works really well. I almost get 50 Mbps up and 50 Mbps down whenever I use this in my house. So it doesn't struggle to get the, it doesn't struggle to get internet connection. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, I just want us to unbox this right now so that we see what comes in the in the box. And uh, maybe you guys might decide to get one for yourselves after we, we do a comparison in speed tests and see whether one behaves better than the other or maybe they're the same but this one has a small should i call it a small surprise it has something extra that made it go for it because i usually use this for my home internet which is what i use when i'm in my house and also go outside with it all this is usually made possible because i own this the anchor power station now i'm able to power the router i'm able to power this router with this anchor power station so that makes it portable for me to go with it outside my house but now the surprise comes in today i will i might i might no longer need to carry this outside with my power bank because this has a little surprise you get to know about the surprise in the video so guys let's get into it let's unbox the new safaricom 5g router okay let's get into the unboxing so this is the safaricom box i was talking about it's written Safaricom 5G. This router can do just like the other one, both 5G and 4G. And the little surprise I was talking about is that this specific router comes with an inbuilt battery, which can go up to three hours. That's really game changing. Now, I no longer have the need to carry my router whenever I'm going outside. I can just throw it in my bag and it will work perfectly. Now, besides that, this has a... 5g up to 2400 mbps which is good speed up to three hours battery life i was talking about three hours battery life just now and up to 256 users connected at once so 256 individuals can connect to this device at once that's crazy it has wi-fi 6 wpa3 which uh helps you from cyber attacks and whatnot so now that you know all that let's get into the unboxing so the first thing you'll remove is the safaricom cover okay let me just place this you'll just remove this safaricom cover place this on the side and uh now i'm trying to figure out where to open it as you can see the name of the actual router is buy cells buy cells is a name of router and i guess safaricom has just packaged it into its own thing so yeah so I'm looking for the best place to do the unboxing. I can't find, I can't seem to find it. So, I don't know, how did they open this when I was at the, I might ruin it, so, oh, there we go. So, I'll just open it, and voila. This is how it looks when you open it up. That's how it looks, pink paper. 
and uh, before I remove the router, you get your paperwork, warranty card, you get your warranty card. What else, what else, what else? More paperwork, a manual for your, a manual for your router. I need to read this. We almost never read any manuals whenever it comes to electronics. So I'll need to read this so that I know exactly what I'm doing. What else do you get? Like I told you, the Safaricom SIM card. Let me hide my face there. The Safaricom SIM card that gives you access to internet. This you get, you get standard into the box. Yeah, so yeah, Safaricom SIM card. What else do you get? You get, um, this is an RJ45 patch cable. This helps you connect directly into devices. So let's say you have a TV and you want it to be connected directly to the internet instead of Wi-Fi, it should be wired. You use this. What else? You get your, let's see, what is this? You get your power supply, more like a power brick that powers your device or charges it when you're not using or charges it whenever you're not using it or even when you're using it yeah so yeah power brick and finally finally you get your router it's so light oh my goodness compared to this one this one is lighter i don't know is this something it's lighter anyway let's unbox it so i'll just get rid of the box place it on the side and voila there you go buy cells buy cells router by safaricom it's quite tall and it kind of looks like a small tower you can see here it has your sim card slot your wps button usb i don't know what this usb port is for but i'd really like to know you get your lan ports and your one port in case you want to expand your network and your power port so yeah this is it so let me just power it up and then we can do a small test and decide whether this one performs better than the other one let's get into it now guys just to make this just to make this test a little bit fair what i'm going to do i'm going to do five speed tests on ukla on each of the of the routers five speed tests on this router and another five speed tests on this router so out of five we see which one will compare to be the best or whether they'll be the same so let's begin currently i am connected to this router so let's see out of five how will it perform so i'll just go ahead enter speed test by ukla and i'll make sure that whenever i'm doing the test that they will be on the same spot so speed test number one mind you i paid for a 50 mbps package so let's see how does it perform Ooh, no 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 i'm not i'm not connected to this so let me change let me change the network to josh moore the first where are you there you are okay what time is it it's 1 14. okay are we connected to the internet yes now speed test number one on the original safaricom router let's go Let's see, let's see, let's see. What am I getting? Ooh. Yeah, I'm getting basically what I expected on the download. Download almost never struggles because I'm getting 48 Mbps. Like I told you guys, it's been linear ever since I got this. I'm getting 48 down and 48 up. That's perfect. That's literally a content creator's heaven because with 49 mbps on the upload it means i can create longer videos and not worry about upload speeds whenever i upload them to youtube i know they will upload in good time that's speed test number one let's go to speed test number two again let's go 14 milliseconds which is really good let's see let's see let's see 40 42 42 okay i think this time i'm going to get okay 45 46 46 on the download let's see the upload mm -hmm. 50 50 
50 on the upload that's test number two let's go to test number three i wish i would have done this off camera and put chats but i don't know how to do that because it takes time Ooh, this is test number three what are we and mind you uh my devices my other devices are connected to this router like my tv my playstation what else my other phone so the speeds can vary depending on what's happening so like now you see the download speed goes down to 30 at test number three but upload speed is quite consistent consistent because 50 51 51.7 on the upload let's go to test number four Eighteen milliseconds. How much are we getting on the download speed? I guess about forty-five. Yes, forty-five point two on the download. Let's see on the upload. Bam, ba, da, bam, bam. Forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-nine point two it's really good like as long as it's above 40 for me and i've paid for a 50 mbps package i'm satisfied now the last test which is the fifth one so that now we can look at both of them and compare 24 milliseconds what are we getting what are we getting 43 44 43 42 43 44 44.4 mbps on the download what are we getting on the upload i think we're getting a constant 50 53 54 53 54 54.2 really good i love it so i've powered up the new router it's taken a bit longer to boot up than the other one it might be because it's new i don't know but we are connected to it right now as you can see eg306m 5g so let's go to speed test by ukla and do five tests let's see how it goes so test number one on this new buy cells this one let me just show you so that you, you know it's the one and you see 5g is lit up whenever 5g and 4g are both active so right now i'm connected to the 5g wireless network so let's see test number one same position how will it perform let's see let's see let's see 31 milliseconds Oof, on the milliseconds though that was a bit low if you ask me but anyway let's see speed test number one 45 46 47 48 okay okay seems to have gotten a a better download speed let's see on the upload on the upload oh boy when it comes to upload it has struggled 9.56 on the other one we didn't get anything below i guess 35 on the upload so this one is surprising okay test number two test number two let's go Test number two on the new Safaricom 5G router, the Bicells router. Let's see, download speed. It seems to be getting a good consistent speed when it comes to the download, just like the other router, but the upload speed struggled on this one. Okay, now it seems to be catching up. It's catching up, 44, 45, 48, 47, 46, 47. 47.4 that was speed test number number two okay let's go to speed test number three let's see does the new safaricom 5g router perform better or not let's see when it comes to the download speeds it's it's really keeping up with the other one no lie it's keeping up 47 47.7 on the download and 40 41 43 
42.9 on the upload that was test number three let's go to test number four let's see let's see let's see now mind you originally my idea was that i was gonna get this router just because it has an internal battery and i'll be able to go out with it without having to carry all this anchor equipment to power it up so yeah so we have 47.3 on the download on test number four and 40 48 49 50.2 on 50.2 on the upload now the last speed tests let's see let's see whether this one will look better or worse so far the other router has performed better in terms of the pings and in terms of upload speed generally that is but this one is really keeping up maybe it's still new maybe it needs a bit of uh, i don't know software updates i don't know but it's it's keeping up it's keeping up 44 45 47 49 50 51.2 on the upload so yeah 49.4 on the download and 51 on the upload now i just want us to go back to the results of the other router and compare it to this router from the general general speed test that we've done the first five here on the list were the ones we did on the buy sell 5g safaricom router and the rest of the five are the ones we did on this nokia safaricom 5g router and from the looks of it the averages seem to suggest that this performed better now i understand that the other router is new and that it might have some hiccups because it needs software updates but generally speaking from what we've done which is not a scientific test it will suggest that this other router performed really well but ideally they both performed very well and safaricom wins either way so yeah that was the that was the video basically and i have another surprise for you guys i don't know where it is it's somewhere over here let me just get it for you i got an airtel 5g router now i want to unbox this in another video and show you guys the comparison between this and safaricom it's going to be a really 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 good comparison so stick around make sure you like this video if we can get this to like 50 likes just 50 thumbs ups 50 thumbs ups on this video and we drop the unboxing of the airtel of the airtel 5g router and a comparison video after that so yeah it's been it if you're new here my name is josh moore and the channel name is african josh welcome to the channel if you haven't watched any of my content go back there take a look take a look there's more more to watch the sterling content basically lifestyle content whatever i do in my life this channel doesn't really have a niche just yet but it's all entertaining so yeah guys hope you enjoyed it make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe see you in the next one guys bye